We're all having a wonderful time. If there are any songs you would like to hear, don't hesitate to request. As long as it's not punk, rap, ska, reggae, or any of the other noise that we produce these days. We're going to turn Mr. Ray Tesla loose once again. Here's a good old Hank Williams number. They sure won't like those Williams out there. Here's one called Jump Alive. Jimmy Grabowski and Hong Steel Guitar from Austin, Texas. Jimmy has been in the music business for many, many years. He got one of his early starts playing with Charlie Walker in San Antonio in 1947. And a lot of y'all might recall Charlie Walker as the same guy who did Pick Me Up On Your Way Down when he made it famous in Smashville. Jimmy also played with the Jesse James Band for many years, and he also gave Jimmy Heap Steel guitar player Butterball Harris some early steel lessons. He has been inducted in nearly every steel guitar Hall of Fame there is in the country, and that's not an exaggeration. <laughs> Mr. Ray Tesmer from Round Rock, Texas on a lead guitar. 
also has a very illustrated history. A lot of y'all folks from the 19, let's see, well, Jimmy and Ray, they start, they played together with the uh, with the five strings, Doug Hellum and the Swing Boys in Austin, Texas. And uh, Ray and Bill Dowdy behind me also had an early start. They used to play with Howard Wusterhausen, the Lone Star Ramblers in the early 60s. From there, Ray went on to play with uh, Jody J. A lot of y'all folks might remember the Jody J band from Taylor, and then he went with the King of Swing, which was a very popular band. And so that's where I fell in with the King of Swing somewhere, and they kind of disbanded about two years after that, so I wonder if that means anything. <laughs> Ray has also been inducted into the Texas Western Swing Hall of Fame. I'm glad to have him here. He's one of the only people that has taken the time to learn all these Jimmy Heap songs. As you may have noticed, that he and I are playing twin leads, just like uh, Jimmy Heap and Butterball Harris did on those old records. So Ray and I are kind of trying to do the same thing with the play the twin harmony leads on the fiddle and guitar. But from behind us we have Mr. Sherman Lindsay from Buda, Texas on the drums. Sherman was so excited when we first drove up and he says, man, they built a stage all for myself. <laughs> because the last times we played out here, of course, the stage was over on this side. It was just, you know, one level. So I think, uh, I think they've done a fantastic job uh, doing redoing the sound, redoing the stage here. It's really very nice. Sherman, of course, Sherman is about as, I think Sherman may be busier than I am. He plays at least six nights a week, and on the nights he doesn't play, he plays in the afternoon. He's got uh, the Sunset Valley Boys is one of the bands he plays with. He plays with us, Ray and I, on our dance club nights every Monday and Thursday, and at some points in between. Uh, Sherman got uh, also used to play with uh, Gus Lindemann Orchestra. Y'all used to follow big band music. And, oh, and over here, I think a lot of y'all folks might recognize this gentleman. He's from Lexington, Texas. This is Bill Dowdy, rhythm guitarist extraordinaire. Bill Dowdy is one of the living links to Perk Williams. He played with Perk in 1947 and 48 with the Benny Mersky Band and the Tommy Thompson Band, uh, the latter from Rockdale former one from Brenham, Texas, and he recorded a record with Perk and Jimmy Heap in 1950 on the Empire Record label. And so it's just fantastic to have a gentleman who has such a, such, such a rooted history in the Texas music to be able to be with us here today. Bill has been inducted into the Western Swing Hall of Fame, and deservedly so. And uh, in two weeks, he and I are going to be inducted at some kind of country music hall of fame in Gatesville, Texas. I'm not sure what that's about. It may be just an excuse to get us to come and play for free. <laughs> we'll find out more about that. My name is Paul Schlesinger, and I'm a fiddle player. And uh, I gave you all a little bit of brief history about how I came into all of this. We do have a few things here for, uh, for sale. I guess they could be museum pieces, but uh, they're from my collection. I've got so much of this stuff, I've got to get rid of it. We do have some of the original Jimmy Heap and Burke Williams records here. We've got 78s. I've got a whole collection of 45s. Uh, Wild Side of Life, Release Me, Curtain of Tears, all that stuff is in there. I do have two Jimmy Heap CDs for those of you who don't have record players anymore. Uh, I got two left. The CD is actually how I came acquainted with Jimmy Heap's music. I used to work with Jimmy Heap's widow in a grocery store when I was still in school. And uh, I asked if she could give me the addresses of all the original musicians so I could get them to autograph my CD. And that's how I met Perk. I just drove down here to Crispin, Texas, never met the fellow before in my life. He didn't know me from Adam. Walked up to his little house over here, knocked on his front door, and I heard this, oh, man. And of course, you know, it was, it was very sad because at that time Perk was dying from cancer and he had a large tumor removed from the roof of his mouth which left him unable to speak properly and a host of other issues that went along with that and uh, he was dying from cancer at the time but it still didn't stop him from inviting me in and uh, it's a good thing that uh, I didn't meet him any harm because there he was just sitting in his chair in the front room of his house next to his wood burning stove flipping the filters off the uh, ends of his cigarettes and putting them back in the package so he could smoke them later <laughs> but uh, anyway, Perk and I became great friends, and then uh, he taught me how to play. 
And so that was a fantastic time, and we hope that you are enjoying the fruits of his labors because uh, I think he kind of hated to see me come up if I had that fiddle. He had to give that kid lessons again. But anyway, be happy to fix you up with some of this stuff here. Bill Dowdy and I recorded a CD, just the two of us together doing instrumentals. We have that for sale too. We also have a videotape of an early uh, channel Caldwell Cable Channel 12 television broadcast that we did promoting one of the earlier Kirk Williams festivals, I think it was 2004. Uh, Ray Tesmer, I believe, is, is on that particular videotape, and we tell a lot of the history, a lot of the stories. So, enough of all that, uh, all that historical stuff. We can get to some music in here. And don't, re don't forget, we do have a request time, so if there's anything that anybody would like to hear, uh, don't hesitate to ask. If we don't know it, we'll play something else. <laughs>